Hey everyone, this is the Cardboard Herald crew. I, I don't know, we don't have an official name, I guess, Cardboard Herald stuff. This is Robert, that's Rob. They're producers, if you call yourselves producers. No, you call us producers. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you call yourself? Robert. Okay, well, I guess that'll do. Um, so we were hoping to record a video just kind of talking about what we're going to do at PAX Unplugged this year. Uh, what sort of things that we're doing a little bit different and hopeful achievements that we have. There's a lot that is riding on hope with this one, but we're doing a lot more preparation than in previous years. And by that we mean some. Yeah, <laughs> any. <laughs> any. Any preparation that's uh, not five minutes before we go Yeah, in uh, the Airbnb. <laughs> it's, it's going to be exciting, and we have a lot of cool things that we're going to try to do, and that that's both in front of the camera and behind the scenes. So uh, Robert here has kind of become like the camera consultant and a photographer, like a lot of the video and photography that you see on Cardboard Herald. There's going to be inevitably some B-roll that is shot with like really pretty cameras, uh, or I guess really pretty shots with nice cameras. Uh, and then uh, Rob, being the the podcaster who kind of got me into podcasting, he's the guy who does a lot of audio stuff. And then I am a guy who just likes talking like an idiot in front of a camera. And together, we are a team on this. <laughs> the goon squad. <laughs> yep. This year, uh, PAX Unplugged, we have some things that we we're hoping to do. So as far as our process because mainly the thing that we've done for conventions in the past is a lot of on the floor interviews and what do you think robert how are we going to change up what we're doing i don't think we're going to change it too much we're just going to have two big boy cameras this year instead of an iphone <laughs> instead of an iphone yeah and real audio equipment and instead of an iphone last year it's so one of the, the best things is we had my camera and my iPhone. And for those of you who want to know a little bit more about how the sausage is made, an iPhone records in a format that doesn't sync up perfectly with any other reasonable camera that you could get out there. And so you actually have to like stretch it out ever so slightly, like slow down the speed of it. Uh, and that became a nightmare for recording. It worked for last year. Almost everything came out good. Yeah. Um, but we have a lot better stuff that, uh, we're going to, uh, be shooting with this year. And I think that's going to improve just some of the, the video quality. Um, but we are also going to try and tackle a lot more as far as like subject matter. So I don't know, Rob, this is your third year going. What are you excited about as far as like the con and what you think that we should be capturing? Um, well, I would like to, like, I mean, aside from what we're already doing, doing some more, like, behind-the-scenes kind of recordings, um, which will probably be recorded, not with my iPhone, but with, uh, <laughs> with an Android. Um, <laughs> because I'm not a camera guy, so I don't have a camera, so, um... And we don't let him touch ours. Yeah, no. It's just, I, just, I look at them from a distance. No, um, he's probably going to be, like, handling two cameras while Robert is handling a third for those extra pretty shots on the side. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, as far as content, the things that I'm really wanting to hit on this year that we haven't really focused on in the past is a lot of unpub stuff. We did a couple things last year, but, like having more topic focused videos so instead of an interview with just this person in unpub i'd like to have a video that's kind of a summary of the unpub experience or uh, there's a miniature painting area where people can uh, just get free miniatures and learn to paint and hang out with other people who are painting and getting some tips and stuff because I'm trying to get back into painting, that seems like a cool thing that might be worth hitting up. And I don't know, like, we don't haven't really covered retail, like, what it's like as far as retail at a con in the past. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be kind of cool to cover, like, I mean, we, of course we'll do the like, interviews with the creators and whatnot, but it would be cool to get, like, other aspects. Like, most of the time for interviews we spend in, like, the main hall, like, it would be cool to go to, like, the painting thing or some of, like, the little like offshoot events and kind of record that and 
What about the, like, see grab what? a person in the hallway and be like, tell me about your Pax Unplugged experience? Uh, uh, that, yeah, let's definitely do that. That's one of the things that I was thinking about is I kind of regretted last year on the last day we spent the afternoon just sitting in free play playing a game with friends before everybody went off their separate way. And How dare us play a game at a tabletop <laughs> right, gaming so, convention? So, <laughs> one, a little <laughs> sleep and being really tired. <laughs> How dare we? One, I would like to play more games. Yeah. And two, I think you know, that is the entire convention for a lot of people. So it, it would be nice to go around and see if anybody would be interested in sharing their experience or just mm -hmm. experience it with them. Um, because I think we, we focused more last year on the presentation of new game type side and not so much on just the community side. Rob is a big RPG guy and is always interested in new systems. Robert, you, well, you have your pulse on the, the new games these days. You have the, the new Wingspan expansion before me. But, like, are there any things that you guys are wanting to check out, whether it's, like, a specific title or just you're, you're hoping to find something that piques your interest there? I will tell you there's one thing I am picking up this year. Yeah? Yeah. It's Pugmire. Finally! <laughs> You've been talking about it for so long. Three years in, and I'll get it. <laughs> All right. But they probably have that cat expansion now, too, so I'll probably pick that up, too. Yeah, the, yeah. the Monarchs of Meow. Yeah, uh, something like that, yeah. Monarchs of Meow. <laughs> For some reason in my head, Eddie Webb is like the Robert Rodriguez of RPG creation. I don't know why I've <laughs> made that connection, but like, he just seems like the coolest guy making these indie RPGs, and I, I am hoping to talk to him again this year and get the scoop on what they're doing um that's onyx right is that yeah. onyx yeah onyx path onyx path we really should sort this stuff out before we go <laughs> <laughs> how about you robert uh i don't nothing specific i don't know i don't you, you say i have my finger on the pulse i don't i really don't i've seen some people talking about what was he has in Germany. his finger on my pulse yeah. and that's <laughs> me going into google hangouts and being like hey guys want to check out this new game yeah <laughs> so yeah i don't know i'll just wander around i mean last year it was my first con, so I didn't really know even what I should be looking at. So this year I plan on spending more time just walking around and absorbing it all. Um, if we have time in between all of the interviews we're planning on doing, yeah. all of the Sterling content we'll be providing you viewers <laughs> out there. Well, yeah. speaking of that, I don't want to just make this us blathering on for even longer than we already have. So I think the best way of ending it is saying that like, we are getting ready for the convention now. We want to do even more than we've done at any convention up until this point. But it would be great to hear from you as to, like, what you want to see out of convention coverage. I mean, do you want more of the interviews with creators on the show floor? Do you want more impressions and casual conversations with creators in, like, a more informal setting like we've done that in podcasts and maybe we could do that in a video form this year do you want to see more of the perspective of the con attendees and what are the things specifically about this year at pax that you are excited about that you would like to see for games coverage and you know to do the youtube thing i could say let us know in the comments below. Smash that like button! Oh my god, no, all right, all right, we're done here. If you enjoyed this video, we have all kinds of other reviews, interviews, and recommendations via writing, podcasts, and video here on our channel and website cardboardherald.com. Our content is audience supported, so if you want to show your support, please visit our Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Cardboard Herald.